Today I'm going to be showing you 15 different programs that allow me to transform my gaming desktop from this to this. If your Windows desktop looks messy and full of bloatware, then this video is definitely for you. So follow along in this video because I'm going to be showing you how you can transform your PC gaming desktop from noob to pro. So let's get started. Drivers are like the fuel that allows your PC to operate at its full potential. The most important drivers that I recommend to download yourself are the GPU drivers and the motherboard drivers. If you don't have GPU drivers installed, you won't be able to fully utilize your GPU power. To install these, go on your GPU manufacturer website. It can either be Nvidia, AMD, or Intel at this point, and install the specific drivers for your model of GPU, which should be on the website. Same with the motherboard. Just search up the model of your motherboard, which can be found by going into your system information section and checking on baseboard product. That's assuming you don't know the model of your motherboard. Once you find the motherboard information, search up the model of your motherboard on the internet and download the latest drivers available. Download the audio, chipset, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth drivers. Those are the ones I suggest for now. You could also update your BIOS, but if your BIOS is working fine, then you don't have to. But if your PC is brand new, I do highly recommend that you update your BIOS. I'm going to do a full video on BIOS installation in the future. Next up, install NVIDIA Control Panel or AMD Adrenaline. Or for Intel users, I think it's the Arc Control software. This allows you to optimize your GPU. You can set custom resolutions, custom frame rates, configure the fan curves, and so much more. I personally don't spend too much time on these softwares, but they are useful when they are. Next up, you're going to want to install a new browser. Now I'm assuming that you are on a fresh Windows install and you only have Edge installed for now. Now I've personally used Edge for about a year and a half and it is really good for browsing. Just as good as Chrome. I think there's very little that separates it from Google Chrome. You can even make it feel more like Chrome by adjusting the browser settings so that it uses the Chrome engine for browsing. Edge does almost everything that any other browser does. You can install ad blockers, you can install browser extensions and so much more. You can also sideload apps like TikTok, I sideloaded ChatGPT and a bunch of other social media apps. But what I don't like about Edge is how spammy it is. There's a lot of ads and it kind of forces a lot of uh, Microsoft features on you. But otherwise, it is a really good browser. And if you want to keep using Edge for your browsing, then you're welcome to do so. But I do highly recommend having Chrome because you can directly use the Google features in, in Google Chrome. And the reason why I use Google Chrome is that Google has a remote control app, which you can use to control your computer from a separate location as long as your computer is connected to the internet. And the app is called Remote Control, which brings me to the next program that I recommend you install in your computer, Chrome Remote Desktop. This allows you to, com to control your computer, like I said earlier, from a different location as long as your computer is connected to the internet. You can install it in any iOS or Android device and it works perfectly fine. It's pretty useful for those days where you're out and you don't have access to your computer and you have a specific file that's in your computer that you need immediately. As long as your computer is on and connected to the internet, you can log in and control your computer from literally any location on your phone. There are many other remote control uh, desktop desktop apps, but this one's the simplest to integrate because you don't have to install a bunch of uh, different software. You just need Google Chrome. Next up in the list of programs that I recommend you install is Discord. Discord is a gaming and social networking app that allows you to essentially communicate with other people while you're gaming. If any of you want to join my Discord server, I'll leave a link to in the description below. They've also recently integrated Discord into Xbox and PlayStation, which allows you to essentially cross-platform with other gaming platforms, making Discord much less lonely and much less suited for just PC gamers. Next up is Xbox Game Bar. Now, you may or may not know that Xbox Game Bar is already integrated in, in Windows. You just have to press the Windows G button to activate it. It has a lot of useful features. It allows you to capture your gameplay, take screenshots. It allows you to monitor the performance of your GPU, CPU, RAM. It also allows you to essentially communicate with people who are on the Xbox platform. So if you have a lot of gaming friends on Xbox, then this allows you to essentially communicate with them. I use it for exactly those features, but it has a lot more features. You can, you can control your Spotify, launch games directly from from the Windows ga game bar. It's pretty it's pretty useful, especially for the game capture, which is what I use it mostly for. Next up is a music player. I'm personally a Spotify user, but there are many other music players that you can use for streaming music. But I use Spotify because it's well integrated throughout Windows. It's integrated in Discord, it's integrated in the Windows game bar, and it's easy to sync between your phone, 
your phone, your computer, and any other device that you have. You could also use iTunes. You can download iTunes on the Microsoft App Store if you use an Apple device and log into your Apple ID and stream any of your music from iTunes. Next up are game launchers, which you probably already have if you are if you have a gaming PC. But there are many game launchers. There's Epic Games, Steam, Activision, a lot of different game launchers. I personally have Epic Games Steam installed on my computer because they have most of the games that I play. And downloading any other game launchers is really just a waste of storage. You can also use Steam especially to launch any of your games from any of your other launchers directly from, from the Steam launcher if they're not available on the Steam store, which allows you to essentially just use one launcher instead of using a bunch of multiple different launchers to launch your games. But one program that I do highly recommend you install to integrate all your launchers in one is Play Night. I made a video on it a couple of, a couple of months ago. Play Night is a software that allows you to launch all your games from one place, update them, manage them, and a bunch of different things. It also has a it also has a full screen mode which allows you to emulate different UIs. You can emulate the Xbox UI, the PlayStation UI, and many other UIs. I did a full video on it which I will link in the top right hand corner of your screen if you want to check it out. It's really useful if you want to use your PC mostly for gaming and nothing else and you want to launch your games more quickly and more efficiently. It's an awesome program that I especially recommend if you want to use your PC as sort of like a console. Now if you want to get into streaming where you just want to record your, your, your desktop, then one program that I definitely do recommend is OBS Studio. OBS Studio is a recording and streaming software that allows you to stream and record anything that's happening on your on your desktop. But I recommend OBS Studio because it's free and it's easy to use and it has a lot of plugins available on the internet. The next program that I do highly recommend you install is Intel Unis. Now when I discovered this program a couple of months ago, it was a game changer for me. The biggest problem with having an iOS device. I'm currently using an iPhone 15, which I, which I plan on doing a review on in a future video. But the problem with having an iOS device and a Windows computer is that it's hard to share files between the two because unfortunately you don't have AirDrop on, on Windows. But Intel Unison essentially allows you to have AirDrop on your on your Windows device. So yeah, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, just any iOS device, I recommend you get Intel Unison. It's gonna make your life much easier if you wanna share files between your computer and your phone and it's completely free which is the surprising part it works on both amd and intel so don't let the name throw you off it works on both devices now let's work on making your computer more aesthetically pleasing next program that i recommend you install you install is translucent tb this is a program that essentially allows you as the name suggests to make your taskbar translucent you can also change the taskbar to different colors to match whatever style you want to go for but i left it on translucent because i like how it looks when it's completely transparent it gives your pc a really clean looking style the next and final program that i recommend you install which is going to completely transform the way you use your, you use your computer is rainmeter rainmeter is a software that allows you to install a bunch of different plugins to design your desktop in any way that you want so once you install the rainmeter application you're going to be greeted with a few uh, default plugins that are available once you install rainmeter but there are literally thousands of different other plugins that you can install to get inspiration for plugins i go on reddit and just scroll through and see what other people are doing with their desktops and they usually li leave links to their to the plugins to the rain meter plugins that they're using in the comments of the of the reddit posts so i just try different plugins out and and go for something that i find is the best style for me before you install a bunch of different plugins i highly recommend that you remove all the files on your desktop just organize them neatly in in your file explorer because you want to have because you want to have a clean template for for whatever design you're going to go for on, on your on your desktop you can also remove the recycle bin from your desktop which you can't do by just dragging and dropping into your file explorer you just have to right click on it and disable it from appearing in your desktop and once you've done that it's time to design your desktop however you want i found this cool looking pop art skyline picture that i decided to use as my wallpaper on a discord server i found a time and date plugin that i thought was really cool on reddit also found a visualizer from one post on reddit and a weather update plugin also on reddit which i installed i also hid my taskbar and made it appear only when i need it by by moving my mouse to the bottom of the screen which makes my desktop look a lot more cleaner and once all that was done this is how my desktop looked i'll leave a link to the plugins that i used in the description of the video if you want to try it out for yourself i highly recommend you check this video out that tells you what exactly to do after you've built a new gaming pc